In this code.org lesson, we are going to be drawing using nested loops, which is repeat blocks inside of repeat blocks. It saves us from writing a ton of stuff. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Draw a triangle to kickstart this stage. Each side is 100 pixels, and you need to turn 120 degrees. Okay, we have one block in our work area, and we can use up to six. So let's see. There are 100 pixels. So let me do a move forward 100 and a 120 degree turn. I think it's right, but we can find out. It's always okay to be wrong with code. Let's see what this does. Oh, cool. Okay, so on the right track, it uh, looks like I would need to go right again and another 120 degree turn. And then I think there would also be a way to do this with less code. I'll show you that too. So we got it right, six out of six blocks. But if you notice, I could also use a repeat because really I am repeating myself here. Boom, boom. And I could turn right at the end and it wouldn't matter. So another way to be correct and do this would have been to put a three here. The way I had it was completely correct, but I just want to show you everything in a repeat block happens this many times. So move forward to earth right, hits the bottom back to the top. Boom. Onward. Let's see what we have here. Now loop the triangle six times. Okay, well we know how to make one, right? We did a repeat, we put a three here for each side, and then I said move forward 100 like we just did, and then I said uh, turn right or turn left, it shouldn't actually matter, uh, 120, and that should make us a triangle. Now it wants us to do six of these. Okay, well, to do that then, after I make this one triangle, I'm going to need to turn, it looks like. Does it turn? Oh, yeah. You'll need to turn 60 degrees. So I'm going to drop that here. We would want it the same direction, so since I use left up here, I'll use it there. If I used right, I would use right here. And then what? Well, then we want to draw another triangle. So three sides, move forward, turn left 120, then what? Well, I'm going to turn left 60 so I can start another one. Then what? Well, draw another triangle, right? So a triangle has three sides. Now, I can do this and go all the way around. Let me speed it up. But notice, and I've only used 13 blocks, so I could do this one, two, three more times, still be under 24 blocks and draw all of these. But we're still repeating ourselves, and we'll go into this more detail. So if I do this three more times and it's under 24, that works, that's great. But I'm repeating myself. So what if I do it like this? Rather than drawing all of this out like I am here, we could use a repeat. Let me show you what I mean first with all of the blocks. I've raced through this. I have my 24 blocks, and this will work. Boom. However, I'm repeating myself. What, how many times am I doing this? So this would work, but instead of doing that so many times, bye-bye, 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 we can just use another repeat, put a six here. I can do a random color because that looks like what they do. Set it once at the top. And that way, each triangle will be a different color. And because six times over, I'll draw a triangle. It starts, it sets a color, it draws three sides. Once it's done drawing three sides, I turn left 60 at the bottom of this, and I have to draw five more. Bam. Onward. Oh, a video. Cool. All right. This time, complete the puzzle with the fewest number of blocks possible. After each triangle, you need to turn 60 degrees before drawing next. See how much easier it is with nested loops. Perfect. And that's what I did at the example of last time. So we could have done it the old fashioned way without nested loops, but like I just talked you through, let's go ahead and I know there's six triangles here, right? How many sides to a triangle? Well, we know there's three. And then I can go ahead and do a move forward by 100. I should, maybe I'll mix it up this time. And instead I'll go left 120. And then what if I turn left 60? Let me drop that in here. Let me do a random color again. This is identical to the last time, let's see. I did it left just to show you that that wouldn't matter as long as you keep the directions the same. Ta-da! Same principles applied there. Awesome. And it's so much shorter than what I had originally showed on this second bubble. Ooh. Use your new skill to quickly draw the last row of windows for this building. The windows are 20 pixels square. Each are 20 apart. So I have one block here and I can use up to six. And let me go ahead and just start throwing down code to get an idea of what I need. I can go forward 20 and then what? Well, it's a square. So I'm going to want to turn, and it looks like to the left, and then forward again 20, I think. And then what? Left. Make sure you don't pick jump yet, because you want them to draw forward. And I'm going to go over my blocks, but it's good to get an idea of what we need. Let me just see what that does. Yeah, so we got one there. Now what? Well, I'm going to need to jump. Where do I want to jump? Well, I want to jump down here. 
if the square is 20 and there's 20 in between, that's 40. So let me go ahead and jump. Oh, I got to jump forward, backward. Okay. So let me turn left, jump forward by 40. Because that would be the side of the square plus the blank. It should be. Yep. And then what am I going to do? Well, I bet I'll move forward 20 and then turn left forward. And I hope you're yelling at me because there's an easier way to do this. But writing it all out at first really should help. Notice? Okay. Well, what have I started doing now? Once I did this jump thing, oh, look, forward 20, left, forward 20. I'm going to be repeating myself. So I could, I'm going to get rid of this. And I could just use one repeat, right? However many windows, I think they told us. I'll say there's eight, maybe. And let me drag all this. I'm still using too many blocks, but that's fine. It can let us picture what we need. And so now it's going to draw each one of these windows. Try again, because we want to get it to 11. So where else am I repeating items? Well, hopefully you're yelling at me, because look. The only thing I'm not repeating four times is jump. We just do that at the end. So let me put a four in here. And the stuff we are repeating, these two lines, kwapow, can go right there. And I can get rid of these. And then at the end, so now what it will do is it eight times over, it says, okay, I got to do this eight times. There's eight windows, drops it and says, okay, four times they have to move forward by 20 and turn left. It should do all that. Once it does that four times, it should jump for us down to the next window. Hits the bottom and says, oh yeah, seven more times. Cool. All right. Great. Do the same thing with these circles. Each circle is made by one pixel before turning one degree, 360 times. Each circle begins just 50 pixels from where the last one ended. So I think that might be a 50 pixels will be our jump. Uh, let me go ahead and confirm. Let's see. Looks like a 50 pixel jump. Okay. So now that we have that cleared up, I can get rid of that for now. I need to do a circle. What do we have to do? Each circle, one pixel. So, yikes, I'm going to move forward one pixel. I don't want to have to do 360 of these for all four circles. So, one pixel, turn one degree. Turn right, one degree. All right. Now, how many times? It tells us. Okay, so we're repeating this. One pixel, one degree, 360 times, because that's how many degrees are in a circle. Let's see if this is good so far. We should do that 360 times. So, I am going to go left then. <laughs> yeah. So we got one circle. Now what do we want to do? Well, we don't want this part to keep repeating, right? We need it to do one item once. And it looks like our jump. So I'm going to drop that here. And after doing this so many times, we should jump to the next circle. Then what? Well, how do we draw a circle? We know now we can do 360 degrees. I can move forward by one pixel. And I can turn left by one. Then what would I do? I think I would need to jump again. And it says they're 50 apart. So I'm just going to keep trusting them on that. Jump 50. Oop, what happened there? Forward. Ooh, 100. That was huge. And so once I get 360, I jump forward 50 and I do another. Yep. But what am I doing already? I'm repeating myself because there's four circles. Don't do this. We can do this. There's four circles. Kwapow. Let me do it here. And now we'll repeat all of this stuff four times. It looks like they're different colors and it looks like random. So I'm going to drop this guy here. Six out of six. Let's see. Onward. All right. What happens if you turn 90 degrees between circles? Oh, well, that's a big hint. To get this image, you still need to jump 50. So this is really similar than last time. So we know we did four circles, right? And we know how to draw a circle because the one we just did. So I need 360 degrees. I need to move forward just like the last one by one. And then I need to turn. Uh, we were turning left by one. That will draw one circle. Okay. And then we were jumping 50. But what's this say here? We need to turn 90 degrees. I'm going to guess 90 to the right, but we'll find out. Turn 90 degrees, and it says they're still 50 apart. So again, this is identical to the last one, but I'll jump 50. So now what should happen is 360 times, I will move forward and turn left, drawing this complete circle. Once that is complete, I will turn right 90 and then jump forward 50 pixels. Hit the bottom and do that four times. Again, it looks like the colors might be randomized. Hmm. And it actually, wait a minute. So it says jump. Let's turn right after we jump because we want the circles to be 50 apart, but we need to turn where they're drawn. Excellent. Onward. All right. Oh, wow. Now squares. Use what you learned to draw drawing circles. Make sure each of the squares have 100 pixel side, 90 degree angles. You will need to turn 60 between each square. 
Okay, make sure to jump 50. All right, so it says only use one of these. I'm going to use more than that just to kind of figure out what we need. So that will draw one side of a square. I'll go ahead and then turn left 90, it looks like. Other side, left 90. Other side, left 90. And it mentions jump, so I'll go ahead and jump, and I believe it says 50. Let's see what this does. Okay, let's see. Make sure you jump 90. I uh, jump 50 pixels, and it looks like I am at the corner of the other one, but I need to turn 60 degrees. And I look ready to start. Now, whoop. Okay, yep, that looks good. But wait a minute. First off, I've repeated myself, obviously. Hopefully you're yelling at me. Move left. Uh, go forward 100, move left. Go forward 100, move left. Again and again. Don't repeat yourself. Let me get rid of these. Easier way to do this. I'm just going to drag this out and slap a 4 in it, and that will draw my four square sides of my square. Now, after I draw four sides of a square, that's where I do this unique bit where I jump forward 50, I turn right, and then I start drawing again. Okay, so let's test all that out. Yes, but would I want to move forward again? No, I want to do all of this, right? I want to go ahead and do a repeat four, and then I'm going to want to move forward, but we're only supposed to use one move forward. I'm going to want to turn left. Then what? Well, then I'm going to want to jump 50, and then what? Well, then I'm going to want to turn right again, 60, and that should draw two. But notice again, I'm repeating myself. How many squares do we have? I think it's a six. Let's throw all of this in here so it does all that repeating for us. Up one more thing, just to be perfect, because that's what we are. Random colors, it looks like they have. Boom. Onward. All right. What you used... Uh, Last couple, build this image from the beginning. Each hexagon has 50. Ah, we got this. So we know we only need one of these. It or Oh, wow, we're allowed to use two? Nope, it wants us to use one. Mine's just not updating. And a hexagon has six sides. And they are 60 degree turns. So, and I wonder if it's 45 degrees in between them. But let's see if we got one. No, we don't. 50 pixels. Yep, we got one. Now what? Well, it says it looks like we would jump 50, right? Because it's just the length. So let me jump forward 50. And then what? Well, I'm curious why right has a 45 here. So I want to try that. And then let's move forward another 50 just to see where we are. That's looking good. So then what would we do? Well, I would want to turn left 60 again right and then go forward 50 again to start drawing the other sides but as we've been doing we can use a repeat why do this each time instead let me get rid of all of this now this we only want to do once in between each shape but to draw those shapes we can use a repeat and i think that said there was eight of them yes and so let me drag this in here it looks like they're using random colors again so boop and boop now, eight times over, we will set a random color, draw six sides, so once, droop, twice, droop, and everything in this pink mouth thing repeats six times. Once it's done repeating, drawing those six sides, it drops below, we'll jump forward 50, turn right, hit the bottom, and then go back and draw seven more hexagon. But da uh, Onward. All right, challenges. We're so ready. Can you figure out? Yes, both shapes have 50 pixel side. Okay, between each pair of shapes, you will need to jump forward the length of a side and turn 45 degrees. All right, so let's do one shape at a time. It looks like there's eight shapes, so eight total, but let's get one drawn first. That would be a square. They're both 50 pixel sides, so a square has 50 pixels for a side, and then I'll turn left 90 degrees. We've been using repeats enough that I know I don't want to just keep doing it this way to draw all the sides, because all of the sides of a square are the same, right? So... Instead of repeating myself like this, instead of doing it four times over, I have three right now, but we know there's four sides. I'm going to grab a repeat block because we're only supposed to use 13 blocks at most. So four sides of my square and kapow. Let me put this in here. Now that will draw me a single square. Bam. But then what? Well, we need to jump the length of one side. So that's 50. So I'm going to go ahead and have a jump now. 50. It told us that. And then for the length, and then turn 45 degrees, it would appear. So, kwapow. Test this. I'm going to just throw a move here. Let's see what this looks like. And as we have been doing, what would I do after this? Well, I wanted to keep drawing a square. So, once again, left 90, move forward 50. Wait a minute, there's an easier way, right? And that would be to do another repeat and draw four sides. 
four sides, blah, blah, blah. However, instead of doing it like this again, right, because we're just trying to draw the another four sides of the next square, then what would we do? We would jump forward. And then what would we do after all of that? We would turn right again. I'm once again repeating myself, right? And I need to do this how many times? There's eight squares. So let's do that eight times to get my eight squares. That should only get my first shape, though. Let me hit reset here. For my next shape, it's a triangle. Well, good thing we've done that, too. Are there... There's eight triangles, but how do we draw a triangle? There's three sides. It already told us there are 50 pixels. So move forward. How many? 50. And then a triangle will have a 120 degree turn, I hope. And then what are we going to do after we draw one triangle? Well, once again, we know we need to jump forward the length of a side, which is still 50. And it told us that we would turn 45 degrees between each item. Boom, hopefully. And then a repeat for all eight triangles. Now, we need to run these first. We're going to draw all of the squares. Once that whole big repeat's done, this repeat's done, it will run what is below it. So then we'll draw all the triangles. The last thing I notice is the colors of them. Uh, I'm not going to be great at this, but let's see. That looks purplish. Oh, boom, baby. And this looks... Oh, maybe it's like this. I'm guessing, but let's see. Boom. Tricky stuff there. But it, just remember, after each loop, right, after each repeat block, whatever's beneath it will run next. So once we draw four sides, we jump, we turn, we hit the bottom of this, seven more squares. Once we draw all eight squares, we do the triangles. All right. Onward. And take a square from before, but this time only make seven of them and lay them out in a row. Okay, so... 50 for a side of a square, and we would turn right how many degrees? 90 for a square, actually left. And then what? Well, same deal. A square is the same shape on each side. So hopefully you're screaming at me right now because I'm already starting to repeat myself, and we know I don't need to do that, right? So square has four sides. Let me use a repeat. Four sides will get me one square. And then if I go all the way around it, I'm facing forward. So I'll go ahead and jump forward. I don't want to jump 100. That would put me way over here. I know the length of one square is just 50. So I can say jump 50. And then what am I going to do? Well, won't I want to redraw the square? Well, a square has four sides, right? And then I want to move. Oh, wait a minute. If I'm going to repeat myself, why don't I just do that? I believe there's eight of these. Boom. Boom. Right? Instead of writing all of this over and over, we can put a repeat around this repeat. So eight times over, we will hit this pink loop first, and we'll hit this eight times. And it says, okay, four times over, draw a side, turn 90, one, two, three, four, draw that square. Once we draw four sides of a square, we hit this, move forward, jump forward by 50, jump, hit the bottom, do it seven more times. Did I go too far? I think I did. Seven of these. Perfect. Students, once you hit submit on this, it submits to your teacher. So make sure you look at it carefully. If I'm your teacher, it would submit to me. Once you hit run, you can't change your answer. Take a look at the code below. Which drawing will this make when you click run? All right, so it repeats this step four times. So there must only be four shapes. Four, the center one's not going to count. Four, one, two, three, four, five, and three. Ooh. So unless it's counting this center one, let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to have this pink color five times over. We're going to move forward by 50 and turn left. So there should be five sides to the shape we're talking about. Well, that has four sides to each shape. This has three sides to each shape. Then it's going to jump forward, turn right 90, and hits the bottom. So we should draw four shapes with five sides. One, two, three, four, five sides. Let's give this a try. Awesome. Onward. Oh, cool. It's already turned. Now, I'm just going to do something fun and speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole process, but make something cool. It makes it more fun as a teacher to grade if it's interesting. So I have a loop or a repeat within repeat. I draw a square. That's the four times. I draw 26 of them, moving 15 degrees to the left and jumping. And then after I draw 26 of them, my first circle, I hit the bottom, I turn left 15 degrees, and I should draw a second one that we see part of. Let's check it out. I love it. That's my weird, fun shape thing. I hope yours is cool as well. Onward. 